What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JD Live, and I'm live in effect, man. Today, I'm about to be reacting to Conor McGregor's best knockouts highlights, man. Uh, Conor McGregor's really dope, bro, man. Hey, Conor McGregor, the notorious, the notorious MMA. You feel me? So, he about to do the top five knockouts. He's about to be crazy. Conor McGregor, he's crazy with the knockouts. His style is pretty dope, man. And I like him as an overall fighter. He's pretty dope. UFC, he's the GOAT. You, you already know that, man. So we're going to react to his top five knockouts. And let's going to get right into it. Before we do, hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and share this video. Also, I'll put the original link down below in the description so y'all can check out the video for yourselves, man. But without further ado, let's see Conor McGregor ah, ah, knock somebody out, man, with the KO. TKO in the octagon. Let's get it, man. I know it's gonna be crazy. Three, two, one. No fear, I'm standing right here. Eyes peer with my mind clear. Never look rare, only yuck. Conor McGregor is known for his trash talk, but especially for his knockouts. Oh. What makes him such a popular fighter among fans is his ability to back up the trash talk and finish his opponents, putting on some of the best knockouts in UFC history. With McGregor set to face off against Khabib in what will easily be the biggest test to date, and with the notorious one predicting a first round KO, here's a look back at Conor McGregor's top five knockouts. That's so Conor versus Ivan. Conor's fight with lightweight Ivan Butchinger took place on December 31st, 2012 in the Cage Warriors promotion. The fight would be for the lightweight championship, giving McGregor the opportunity to become the first fighter to hold two belts in the promotion simultaneously. Conor would make good on that opportunity by starching oh. Ivan three minutes of the first ah, round with a huge left, left hook, hook, claiming the Cage Warriors oh, lightweight title. Oh, 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 CWFC World Champion! Connor came onto the UFC's radar after defeating Ivan Butchinger in devastating fashion. McGregor would move up to the big leagues, making his UFC debut in April of 2013. His debut would see him paired off against UFC featherweight veteran Marcus Brimage. McGregor seemed to be unfazed despite this being his oh first fight God. in the UFC, and made quick work of Marcus Brimage, flattening uh, him in only 67 oh my, seconds, oh my, making an oh, impressive oh, and memorable oh, UFC oh. debut. Now, Marcus oh, is oh, looking oh, to finish it here! Oh, oh, this is oh, why oh, everyone oh, oh, talking about oh, 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 oh. The fight would also see McGregor famously ask Dana for 60 grand. Dana! 60 G's, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Chad. UFC 189 was originally scheduled for Aldo to face McGregor for the featherweight belt, but due to a rib injury, Aldo would end up pulling out, with number one featherweight contender Chad Mendes coming in as a last minute replacement. Up until that point, Conor had never faced an experienced wrestler. With Conor being primarily a stand up fighter, oh this God. left many questioning how Conor would fare against the former NCAA wrestler Chad Mendes. Like many of McGregor's fights, there was no shortage of trash talk between him and his opponent. Alright, I'm 5'6. You're 5'4", at least. Three, three inches taller than me, buddy. You should stand up, because we can barely yeah. see you on the screen. <laughs> all right, all right. you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on way? your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, During the fight, Chad would show some success with his wrestling, taking advantage of Connor's inexperienced oh, ground oh. game and landing elbows from the top position. Slashing oh. elbow by Mendez. Connor weathered the storm getting back to his feet and wearing Chad down with several body shots. Ah, so another hard shot to the body. Ah. Chad's hurt. Chad's body's hurt. Ah. The knockout finish would come in the second round, with seconds left on the clock. Connor landed his signature left hook to send Chad down, oh. finishing him with a few follow-up shots to become oh. the interim oh. featherweight champion. And now, the new interim UFC featherweight champion! Oh, the Jose Aldo. Knockout. Conor McGregor vs. Oh. Jose Aldo was said to be the biggest featherweight bout in UFC history. The fight was originally scheduled to go down at UFC 189, with the two promoting their fight on a world tour. Unfortunately, a rib injury would force Aldo out, with Conor taking on last-minute replacement Chad Mendes for the interim title. Conor finished Chad inside of two rounds, 
going on to win the interim title and being rescheduled to fight Aldo at UFC 194 in December. Jose Aldo was undefeated in the UFC at the time, and hadn't lost in over a decade. There was no shortage of bad blood between the two, Connor as Connor unleashed an onslaught of insults on Aldo during the build-up to the fight. Look into my eyes, little man. Little Brazilian. Ooh, vamos here. Let's go, let's get closer. Don't, don't touch. Closer, let's go closer. I want to smell his pussy. The mental warfare clearly worked in Connor's favor, and it appeared the pressure was getting to Aldo. Stepping into the cage, Aldo looked visibly tense and anxious. The fight would be a short one for Aldo with McGregor knocking out Aldo in 13 seconds. Oh, Jose man. Aldo Jr. Connor relaxed and smiling. Oh, oh, no! oh, just geez. slapped him! Like that! Just, just slapped him! Like that! Ending Aldo's massive winning streak and making it the fastest title fight finish in UFC history. Ireland, we did it! Yeah! Connor versus Eddie Alvarez. In November of 2016, Connor would make his lightweight debut, challenging lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez for the title with the goal to become the first ever two-weight world champion. This was a controversial move by the UFC, granting Conor an immediate title shot given he had never fought at lightweight before. This would also mark the first time the UFC had held an event at Madison Square Garden, after a long-time MMA ban was finally lifted from the state of New York. The build-up to the fight followed a similar recipe like many other Conor McGregor fights. Plenty of trash talk, explosive moments, and mental warfare. Be careful. I have nothing against Edward. Oh, well. Oh, well. Be careful. What you gonna do? You gonna do something over there? Be careful. Shut your fucking mouth. Shot. One round you're gonna shoot. You ain't got a shot. Your you're coach gonna... knows you ain't got a shot. One round. And anybody oh, who knows you anything coach. about fighting okay, when you're knows you ain't... Like many of Connor's opponents, Eddie looked visibly worn down as he entered the octagon on fight night. Although McGregor was only the slight favorite, he showed a massive gap between their skills, dominating the fight and throwing Eddie off of his game. Connor would drop him several times in the first round and finish him in the second with an incredible four punch combination. Who's getting better here in this round though? Oh my god! If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. That's crazy. Yo, that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. That was the top five knockouts, man, by Conor McGregor, bro. Jeez. Conor McGregor, man, they don't call him for the notorious MMA for nothing, bro. Them knockouts was crazy. That Jose Aldo knockout was crazy. I heard it was 13 seconds, bro. That was a tense buildup before the fight. And Conor was like, man, hey, I'm going in there. Let's do it. He knocked him out instantly. And all the other people, that was some really good knockouts, man. Conor, man's the GOAT, man. Hey, if you like this video, hit the like button for me. Also, I ain't gonna lie, though. Khabib is nice, too. Khabib, Khabib got Conor, though. I ain't gonna lie. Khabib is nice, bro. I saw that Khabib versus Conor McGregor fight. That was a good fight. I ain't gonna lie. Khabib, that wrestling style is crazy. Like, crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comments, man. But if, yeah, that was the end of the video. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for support. Follow all the links down below in the description. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. The